Okay, hi. My name is uh, Heidi Mossad, and uh, today I'm going to present you with Dr. Abir Rajdan and my colleague Shaila Khalid, who are presenting our research, the impact of financial inclusion on sustainable development goals. Uh, our presentation will cover the following a research significant research ob objective, hypothesis, literature review, data and methodology, findings, and conclusion. So, first, let us uh, introduce what is financial inclusion. So, financial inclusion is the availability of affordable, useful uh, financial service for individual and businesses. Example like bank loan, saving accounts, insurance. Uh, Recording in progress. Okay, sorry. Second, uh, as you can all see in this graph, it shows the financial inclusion progress in Egypt uh, during the period from 2016 to 2023. You can see there is a remarkable achievement starting by 27.4 until it reached approximately 68% in 2023. Secondly, as for SDG, um, so SDGs are critical because they provide a universal framework for countries to work toward a better future. As you all know, it's uh, 17 uh, goals. And uh, this graph uh, presents the overall index score uh, from 2002 to 2023, which has actually been accelerating since until it reached 69 in 2023. Second, uh, that's why it's important to tackle our research. Financial inclusion in Egypt has made a noticeable progress in financial inclusion over the past few years. Also, um, in 2017, only 32% of adults in Egypt has bank account but it reached in 2022, 64%. Also, the Central Bank of Egypt has identified uh, financial inclusion as essential for achieving competitive and diversified economy, which is also uh, a key objective of achieving SDG in Egypt. Second objective. Our research ob objective aims to, uh, to assess the impact of financial inclusion index on specific SDGs, one, two, three, four, five, and eight in Egypt during the period uh, 2004 to uh, 2021 uh, due to the available data. Uh, our research hypothesis uh, and uh, financial inclusion has no impact on the specified SDG. Uh, and and uh, on the other hand, it might have financial inclusion has a positive significant impact on the specific SDGs. Uh, uh, when conducting the literature review for the uh, studied SDG, we found uh, that Sureta uh, in 2019 uh, said, uh, says that financial uh, financial products like healthcare, uh, health insurance, health insurance eases the uh, healthcare burden. Uh, Ali Al Din, uh, financial uh, financial inclusion empowers women by giving them control over finances and boosting entrepreneurship. And uh, on the uh, on, on the World Bank's um, paper, uh, access to financial uh, financial services empowers the individuals and families to invest in education by enabling savings, uh, mitig mitigating financial shocks, and facilitating student loan. Uh, next, we have uh, our data and methodology. Uh, in, uh, our dependent dependent variable variable is the SDGs index score. And our independent variable is the financial inclusion comp uh, composite uh, index, uh, FDI, GDP growth rate, and trade. Uh, the, re the research deploys six separate multiple regression models. Okay, uh, we tested six uh, of the SDG. First one with no poverty. The result, uh, we found that a financial inclusion reduced uh, no, uh, reduce poverty by 3.64. Second uh, model was uh, tested zero hunger and it also uh, reduced hunger by 1.6. So it helped combat hunger and achieve food security by enabling investment in agriculture. Uh, third, good health and well being. Uh, it's, it increased uh, good health and well being by 2.34. Uh, fourth was quality education. So we, it resulted that one unit increase in financial inclusion resulted in an increase in quality education by 3.07. Uh, gender inequality was also a positive impact by 7.5. Uh, lastly, uh, decent work and economic growth, uh, one unit increase in financial inclusion resulted in an uh, increase by three in decent work and economic growth. Uh,
our empirical results uh, were uh, were uh, is that we have a strong positive correlation between financial inclusion and the selected SDGs, despite the remarkable achievements of Egypt in both financial inclusion and SDGs. The road has not be, is not paved yet. Challenges remain in expanding fintech adoption, lowering digital literacy, improve the lack of trust, and enhance regulatory barriers. Thank you. Any questions?